I have an eight-year-old son who goes to a public school in Canada, and it was Valentine's Day last year, and I had forgotten about Valentine's Day. Can you imagine? And so I said to him in the morning, I said, honey, I'm so sorry, but I forgot to get Valentine's Day for people in your class. He told me it was okay because he actually had collected from church these little tracks. They're called the four points. On the front of the tracks is a, is a heart. It says, God loves you. And then when you open up the track, it tells you a little bit more about the gospel story that Jesus died for you. That uh, even, even though that you've sinned and fallen short of God's glory, that he, he made a way for you to get saved and to be redeemed. And then it asks this question, would you like to become a follower of Jesus? And so I was a little bit afraid because he goes to a public school in the neighborhood and we were brand new to the neighborhood and it was a little bit, ah, is this going to be okay? So I said to my son, Judah, I said, Judah, honey, do you want to just pray about this and see if this is the right thing to do? And Judah looked at me and he said, mom, can you think of a better way to describe love than the person of Jesus? <laughs> and I said to him, I cannot think of a better way. And he said, well, then what would we pray about? So he took the tracks to school for Valentine's Day. He gave one to everybody in his class. The next day was parent-teacher interview. <laughs> I walked into the room and it was the teacher and that I expected that, but it was also the vice principal and it was the principal. And we talked a little bit about Judah and how he was doing at school, which he was doing great. And then the vice principal grabbed the track, pulled it out, said, your son brought this to school yesterday. I said, I know. <laughs> I tried to stop him. He was insistent. I said to the principal, I told Judah, maybe we should pray about this. Maybe this isn't an appropriate thing to do. But then Judah said to me, can you think of a better way to describe God than uh, to describe love than the person of God? And I said, I couldn't think of one better way to describe love than the person of Jesus. And I said to the principal, can you? The principal looked at me, shook his head, said, you know, I cannot think of a better way to describe love than the person of Jesus. Jesus came to tell us the essential components of what God is like, and this is it. In 1 John, it says this, God is love. When a religious leader asked Jesus, what is the most essential thing? What is the most important thing? If you could sum every single thing up, what would you say is the thing that matters the most? And Jesus said, this is pretty simple, it's love. Love God with everything that you've got, but also love your neighbor as yourself, the essential component of discipleship. If you really want to know what God is like, and if you really want to know what God wants, it can be summed up very easy. It's love. Can you think of a better way to describe love than the person of Jesus? I can't.